Happy holidays, everyone. In the next couple of videos, I'm gonna be making some easy, fun, Christmassy DIY projects that I was so wanting to share with you guys. I have been wanting to do these kind of projects for a while since I started my YouTube channel, but I could just never find the time. So this year I started early and now I'm bringing some fun and easy DIY projects for this holiday season. This is gonna be like my version of Vlogmas where I am showing you guys how to do some easy DIY gifts. So in today's video, I am gonna be making some sweatshirts. Sweatshirts are perfect for cozy season and they are gonna be holiday inspired, of course. I am really excited to get started on these and I hope you guys like them. So let's get started. You are watching DIY by Nikki Foster. So I have three different sweatshirts that I'm gonna be customizing and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it three different ways. Let me go to my computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do. Okay, so now I'm in design space and I'm just gonna go over and click new project and this brings me to my blank canvas. Okay, so next I am just gonna go over to images and I have this saved already, the one I wanna do, so I'm just gonna go over to saved. I am gonna do the merry and bright one and it's gonna populate and see the size here. It, I'm actually gonna try and make that like as big as possible. So I think that looks pretty cool. And I quickly changed the colors to the colors I'm gonna be using for my sweatshirt. I'm gonna be using Cricut Smart Materials, so that's why I'm gonna be clicking Smart Materials on here so you don't need it without a mat. And I made sure the mirror feature is turned on for each mat. Since I'm using three different colors, each color is cut separately. The first is red, which I'm using smart materials for, so that's why it's just loaded without a mat. The second color is this bright glitter green. This is a premium vinyl that I actually did need a mat for, so that's why you see me rolling it out with a brayer so that it's nice and smooth. I used a 12 by 24 mat for this so I could save as much vinyl as possible. And last is pink. I'm using some leftover smart material for this, but I'm putting it on a mat because it's so small. And now I'm just like cutting around the edge of the letters so I could save as much vinyl as I could. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is just weed the letters around. So I'll start with this one. Okay, so now here's the part. I'm just gonna get the heat press and basically just sit it on top and with a little bit of pressure for about 30 seconds. Um, and that's basically it. So now I'm just gonna get ready to do that. For this part, you do need a heat press mat. I'm using the large one. My sweatshirt that I'm using, I'm using a white one. And of course the heat press machine. I have the heat press three, which is already set to 350. And now I'm just layering my design so it reads merry and bright. So there's my heat press going on top. And now I'm just gonna press the button and it's gonna count down. So now that it's on there, um, I turn it around and then just do it for another 15 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna try and peel it off because I'm, I'm kind of impatient. Actually, I think it gets cooled off anyway. All right, I'm gonna try and peel it off and see. All right, so far so good with the M. Okay, should I just do the Mary first? It looks so good. This is so cool. No, my camera is cutting off the top of my head. Okay. So cool, this looks so good. I'm sure any one of my family members would highly appreciate this sweatshirt for a Christmas gift. I'm actually thinking about maybe gifting it to my sister 
or making her another one and we'll have like matching sweatshirts. That's actually a really cool idea too. So we're gonna be doing another sweater and this time I'm gonna be using the words Mary going across and like some varsity letters. I had seen this before like on Pinterest or something and I thought it was like the coolest, cutest like holiday sweatshirt, but not as, um, I guess, not super festive, but still in the Christmas spirit, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm already in a new project on Cricut Design Space. This is basically the basics of starting any kind of project on Cricut Design Space. Um, I'm just gonna go over to text. And since I already know what I want my text to be, I'm just gonna write the words in, Mary. That's all I wanted to say. And I'm gonna be using the font called Varsity, I believe. Okay, uh, I have to uncheck this card. I'm not sure why that like comes up like that. Varsity letter. Oh, and I also want it to have like a little bit of a curve. So I'm gonna do just like a tiny bit of a curve. Like that, I think that's pretty good. That's enough. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to use this offset feature. For the offset feature, I wanted the words to have some spaces in between the letters, so I did set it to 0.23. Then I like to color coordinate so I don't get confused when I'm cutting all the smart materials out. So the offset will be in white and then the layered letters will be in red, so I change those out to make it match. And I am gonna be using smart materials for this since the length is longer than the normal standard mat size. And I make sure I hit mirror again because I am gonna be ironing this on. The design is sent to the machine to cut, and once both colors are cut out, I weed out the negative space from the letters. When you iron on, sometimes the, it shrinks, so I'm actually going to cut these out individually and add them on top of the offset. Okay, so I have my sweatshirt already ready to go. I got my letters, Mary. I'm just gonna place this on here, right at the center. I hope you guys can see that. Since I'm layering iron on materials, I set the heat press on either side for 15 seconds on 350 degrees. I let it cool for a few seconds, then I remove the plastic and then layer on my red letters individually. I had mentioned before that the iron-on tends to shrink a little bit after it's been heated, so I learned from doing other projects to layer it this way as an alternative. Then I reused the release sheet that was from the white letters to protect the iron-on from the heat press. This time, I used the heat press for the full 30 seconds on top of the letters with a little bit of pressure. I did have to move the heat press from side to side because my design was oversized. After the time was up, I removed the release sheets from all the letters and the design came out super smooth. So final sweater, I actually downloaded this print quote off of Etsy and um, I can link that in the description box below too if you guys want it. This is so classic and perfect for holiday. So um, let me just show you how to do it on the computer. Okay, so here we go. First of all, when you're downloading something, you want to make sure you're uploading it to Cricut Design Space so that your, I guess, the software can recognize it and cut it out for you. I hit upload on the left side, then search for my image. I upload it to Cricut Design Space. This screen shows how it will look when it's cut out, and it also allows you to change the name of the file, so I just quickly changed my name to what it's actually called. Now it's stored in my uploads, and I click it to add to Canvas. So that was super simple. All you do is download your file from Etsy and then you just upload it into Cricut Design Space. So here I have my design and I'm gonna add it to the canvas. And it's about 10 inches wide. So obviously I usually like mine a little bit larger. So I unlock the design and then I scale it to 11. I think that looks really fun. I love the stars on it. So I'm gonna go to make it. And I'm going to do without a mat because I'm going to be using Cricut Smart Materials. Um, I'm going to make sure I do my mirror so that I can iron it on and just press continue. And here's where you choose the materials. I'm using Smart Iron On, so I choose that. Here we go. I 
have to say, peeling white off and cutting the white vinyl is hard to see sometimes, but once you start peeling it, you can see it way better and see all the letters in so far. And you guys probably know the process by now. After the design is all weeded out, I place it on the center of the shirt. I actually just eye the middle of it and use the easy press machine. I apply light pressure for 30 seconds until the machine beeps. Then I flip the sweatshirt over and apply another 15 seconds of pressure. And once everything's all cooled down, I peel out the release sheet. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys like these sweaters. I thought these were really cool designs. Some were already on Cricut Design Space. Another one I downloaded from Etsy, like I mentioned before. And then the one I just designed myself just using like text. So I hope this helped you um, figure out if you guys are gonna do any custom design sweaters yourself or sweatshirts rather. I did the Merry Christmas, Your Filthy, your filthy Animal, the and that one was downloaded from Etsy, Merry and Bright. This was already available on Cricut Design Space. And then this one I did a DIY design, just then really simple and like kind of collegiate feel. This was really fun. Yeah, these were really easy designs that anyone can do. So make sure you guys follow along for the next couple of days. I'm gonna be doing some other DIY projects. If you like this, then you'll like some of the other projects that I have lined up. Make sure you like this video because it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're interested in getting more of this type of content. And then also um, make sure you comment below which was your favorite style. So um, I know which one of my favorite style was and I'll probably, I will well, not probably, I'll definitely be wearing these in the next couple of videos so you guys can see how they look on. And that's about it. So um, thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. I more want to show everybody his Sonic. <laughs> Holiday, no, that's not what I was gonna say. Is my mic on? Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Uh, I will definitely cut that part. Okay, that was a pretty good one. Like who wouldn't want to receive one of these? I mean, I know it's cool, but you know, I want you guys to tell me that it's cool. And don't forget to check out this playlist that I have for you right here.